This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I Z-remesh a model and then transfer the details back? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a glove model here loaded in that was sculpted inside of ZBrush. Now this version of the glove here is at 2 million points, and it is a DynaMesh model. So right now, this model has no lower subdivisions. So if I go to the Geometry tab here, you can see I have no lower subdivisions. So let's say I want to take this model and I want to zero mesh it to get a lower resolution mesh out of this. And then I want to get the details I have on this model onto that new model I just created. So how can I go by doing that inside of ZBrush? So the first thing we're going to do is take our original model here and we're just going to duplicate the subtool. So make sure I have that subtool selected and then I'm going to click duplicate. Now after this is duplicated, I just need to pick one of these gloves here and then I'm just going to click the eyeball icon to just make sure it's the only Subtool visible here, and I'm just going to now Z remesh this model. So I'm going to navigate to the geometry panel here and open up the Z remesher tab. And I'm going to keep the settings pretty much as their defaults, and I'm just going to click Z remesher. Now, after this is done processing, you should get a lower resolution version of your model. I'm going to turn on polyframes here to kind of see what that looks like. Now, this is still a little bit too high for my liking, so I'm going to run Z remesher again. This time I'm going to turn adaptive off and I'm going to turn on half and now I'm going to run ZRemesher. This is going to take the result I have here and generate a new ZRemeshed version again of this model that should be at half the points. So I'm just going to ZRemesh one more time here. So now I have a version of this glove that's around 9,000 points. So if you need to still go lower, you can always just come over and keep clicking ZRemesher and it's just going to keep ZRemeshing that model for you. So now I'm down to 4,000 points, which is a little bit better. And now I want to take this Z-remeshed version of the model, and I want to project the details back from the original high-resolution version. So I'm going to make sure I have the low-resolution version selected. I just need to divide this up. So I know my original subtool here was around 2 million, so I just need to divide this model up until it gets around that point. So for this one, I'm just going to do about 1 million here. And now I'm going to make sure I have the high resolution model visible. So make sure I have the eyeball icon turned on for that subtool. Then underneath the subtool palette here, I'm going to go to the project area and open that up. And I'm going to change my distance here to 0.1. This is the value I usually end up using when doing this. And then I'm simply going to click project all. Now when you click project all, it's going to take the model you have selected and project the details back from any subtool that has this visibility eyeball icon turned on. So if I had two or three versions of the gloves or different parts of the gloves here and they all had that eyeball icon on, it's going to take your original subtool and project the details from any subtool that has that eyeball icon on. So I'm just going to simply click project all now. Now when this is completed, your model should look like this. So you have these two models stacked on top of each other. So if I activate solo here, you can see this is the Z remeshed version with those details projected back. So I have five subdivisions on this, and I can go back down to the lowest to see the Z-remeshed version of the model. And then if I scrub back up to the highest, I should have all those details captured from the original model on this mesh now. And depending on how many polygons you divide this up to, you'll get more accurate resolution between the two. So this one's a little bit less because I only have one million polygons here compared to the original one. But if I divided this up one more time and then did that project, I'd be able to get all the details that are on the original model. But that is the process to Z-remesh a model and then project the details back. So duplicate your model, run Z-remesher on that model to get to the desired polygon count you want it to be. Then divide that model back up. Turn the visibility icons on for the subtool that you want to transfer the detail from. Then come to the project option here and simply do a project all with your Z-remeshed model selected and it will transfer all the details from these subtools that have the visibility icon on back to your ZRemesh model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.